Today, we're going to talk about one of the biggest things that has happened in crypto, and that is, is the US about to dump $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin into the market? We're going to talk about that. I'm going to go through everything you need to know regarding this situation. We're talking about Bitcoin, we're talking about traditional markets, and everything else you need to know about. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right Right now. Okay, so before we talk about the talk of the day, Department of Justice in the USA has seized $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin. And what are they going to do with it? Well, let's first talk about this right here. So on the four hourly time frame, you can see that uh, as this came out yesterday, we did see a small little pullback here for Bitcoin. So we went from $45,000. It's actually pretty uh, unfortunate because it seemed like we were about to actually break through this $45,000 level and make a new push towards the higher levels here. But instead, we did get this drawdown in Bitcoin. Since then, we've had, you know, some, some turbulence here. And going over to the traditional markets, the traditional markets have also not been doing bad. I mean, traditional markets went up yesterday and uh, they've been going up today. So we are inside of the orange box. And if we can clear this and, you know, consolidate above this level, things are looking good. I mean, in general, I stand by what I said yesterday. In general, things are looking pretty good now for Bitcoin and traditional markets. So why did we go down yesterday amidst the news about this? Well, here's the thing. So in 2016, Bitfinex, which was uh, the largest exchange back then, had a hack. And the uh, people who hacked uh, Bitfinex, they took 120,000 Bitcoin. Now, since then, I mean, not much has happened until basically right now where uh, the Department of Justice yesterday came out with a statement saying that they have seized uh, about 100 and I think 108,000 Bitcoin, which is currently worth $3.6 billion. And two people have been charged for trying to uh, launder this Bitcoin. Okay, so that's a massive event in itself. But of course, the fear right now is that these $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin are going to get dumped into the market by the Department of Justice. And this is why Bitcoin went down yesterday. So there is that hanging fear and we don't yet have clarification about what is going to happen with these $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin. Could they be sold by the Department of Justice? That could be the case. Could they be returned to Bitfinex? That could also be the case. And in that case, Bitfinex actually have issued a token. Uh, so this is their exchange token. And supposedly, if they get that money, they are going to buy back uh, Leo tokens. This is why Leo is up so much today, because then, uh, you know, 80% of the $3.6 billion is going to enter into the Leo token. So pushing that price higher. Now, of course, we don't know if they are going to receive this. We don't know anything about that yet. So I guess we are going to get some clarifications, hopefully pretty soon because this is a big deal i mean 3.6 billion dollars worth of bitcoin of course if they're going to sell it they're not just going to go to coinbase and press you know market sell pushing down the market no they are going to of course scale out so it's not going to affect the market price per se a lot in the short term but of course, all of this Bitcoin entering into circulation is of course going to have some kind of impact to the downside uh, for Bitcoin here. So these people who uh, had $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin in their possession, who were these you know, mastermind hackers? What kind of genius was holding these Bitcoin? Well, enter this girl. So this is one of the persons being, you know, charged with uh, trying to launder this Bitcoin and having the possession. So they actually had a Dropbox account. He, she and uh, her husband, so you can see them right here, Ilya Lichtenstein and Heather Morgan. So they actually had the private key to these $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin on a uh, cloud storage account. So like Dropbox or Google Clouds or Amazon Cloud or whatever, they had their private key in a text document and that private key held these $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin. Now, did they actually hack Bitfinex? We don't know that. I guess they are going to testify and we are going to, you know, get some clarity regarding this whole situation. But yeah, to think that uh, these guys had $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin on their laptop in a text document with a private key, it's completely insane. But yeah, that's the case. And she is also pretty well known. She, you know, has a YouTube channel. She has deleted all of her videos. But um, yeah, she has a YouTube channel. She has a TikTok channel. She's a content creator. She's active on Twitter. So 
yeah, I mean, this thing is just completely insane. But I guess we are going to get some clarification regarding that. But the options right now, I think the fear of us, you know, this drop here, you can see that the red line, by the way, even amidst this massive FUD, the red line was not broken. So this is, again, strengthening the uh, thought of us actually being in a bit of a bullish trend here. So yeah, we will keep watching this, guys. We will keep watching if they are going to make a decision and communicate that decision about what they are going to do with the Bitcoin here. But uh, yeah, I will keep you updated regarding that. And this is why I don't have too much, you know, uh, chart stuff to talk about today. Because, uh, of course, this is going to affect the Bitcoin markets a lot. And I guess we are going to get uh, way more clarification even today here. So we will wait that out. And um, yeah, massive support level at 42,200. You got these resistance levels up here, as you already know. So if you want to know about the exact plan and the exact levels to watch and so on, make sure to watch my previous videos. And if you want to sign up to Bybit and uh, get a $4,530 bonus, you can still do that if you use my link right here. So make sure to take advantage of that offer if you want to uh, start trading. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.